Hi guys and welcome to the mic lab. In today's video I decide to make some nitric acid and to do that I will use just some fertilizer. Nitric acid is a useful chemical in a lab because a lot of reactions require it. For this experiment I will use a fertilizer based on calcium nitrate and will explain later why. So to get started in a beaker I measure out 100 grams of calcium nitrate. Much more calcium nitrate is added to be sure all of the acid will react with it. To make the nitric acid I will need to react the calcium nitrate with a strong acid. And that acid will be the sulfuric acid, another very useful chemical in a lab. The sulfuric acid that I use is from a drain cleaner that has a concentration about 92-93%. And from it, I measure out 85 milliliters of sulfuric acid. So to really get started, I take a beaker and I pour all of the calcium nitrate fertilizer in it. The reason why I use the calcium nitrate is because in the reaction, calcium sulfate will precipitate out and will be insoluble in the environment and the nitric acid will be much more easy to filter it. After I spray out with some water on the calcium nitrate, it's time to start the reaction and add the sulfuric acid. What is happening in the reaction? The calcium nitrate reacts with the sulfuric acid and form nitric acid and insoluble calcium sulfate. At the first phase, I pour the acid with a pipette and I see not really much is happening. I use the boiling flask with the cold water to reflux all of the vapor that might be escaped from the beaker. After I see not really much is happening, I pour all of the acid. After I pour the acid, I take the boiling flask with the cold water and put it on the beaker to not escape any vapor of nitric acid or the nitrogen dioxide that will be produced. Occasionally, I spray out with some water but I have no reason why I'm doing this. After some time we will we see the reaction, how it's going. I let up the reaction for a day. The next day the mixture looked like ice coffee and I think the most of the reaction have done. But to be sure, I stir it for a bit. I'm gonna let another two hours. After two hours of waiting, the mixture really looked like iced coffee, and I wanted to taste it, but I don't think it was good for my health. So I spray out with some water to break the many bubbles with nitrogen dioxide that might be trapped in the calcium sulfate. After I make sure that most of the nitrogen dioxide was gone. I'm gonna let sit for a day to decant it off. The next day the mixture separate in three layers, one of calcium sulfate, another one with calcium sulfate and the nitric acid. For the next step I will need to extract as many acids as I can from that layer of acid and to do that I will use just a graduated cylinder and a pipette this procedure was a really big pain because the calcium sulfate is a really nasty chemical that is hard to separate it out from other things. So from now, I will declare the calcium sulfate the biggest enemy of mine. At the end, the nitric acid layer that was forming the beaker became much more smaller that made me to suck more calcium sulfate that make the acid from the graduated cylinder cloudy. 
After I take the most of the acid, I will need to filter it the rest. And to do that, I will use the classic Arab beaker technique. Unfortunately, this technique didn't help me at much because after I put the mixture, it broke. Because this didn't work, I will use a kitchen funnel with a beaker to filter it to maintain the weight of the mixture. And because the first funnel wasn't big enough, I will use another funnel with a beaker to filter. So I poured the mixture with the nitric acid in the two beakers and now I was left with a mini filtering factory of nitric acid. After I let it sit for a day to filter it off, I was left with a really great wheel of nitric acid and for the next step I will need to filter it more to purify it. And to do that I will use just a funnel with cotton in it. So I take an Erlmeyer flask and I put the funnel with the cotton to it. The cotton will help to build the acid much more clear because we'll filter any particles of calcium sulfate. The filtering process shouldn't take so long but after some time the calcium sulfate will accumulate it into a cotton and that will make the filtering process much more slower. After I filtered the most of the acid from the beakers, I was left with a beautiful nitric acid. The color is because the dye from the sulfuric acid drain cleaner that I use. To store out the acid, I use a brown bottle. It's time to see how much acid. From my calculation the acid concentration is about 35 percent and with a yield of 96 milliliters. To really see if I make nitric acid I will test it out using a copper wire where I put some acid to it to see. Nitric acid should react with the copper, forming copper nitrate. So, because it reacts. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.